afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkus. Thank you so much. My name is Dr. Isn't Haley the best? She got me a snack and some water. Dude, you rock and roll. Mm. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz, and I'm here to answer some questions from our YouTube comments. I'm really excited to get into the first one because I feel so strongly about it, and it's I, I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to try new things out, but let's let's get into it before I, I start sounding even stranger. So uh, the question that we got was uh, from Stop Motionist. Uh, it was a presentation that we did on sample size, choosing sample size. And the question was reusing plastic molds. And I think it's what is my uh, uh, opinion on reusing plastic molds. And there's, there's two different directions, but let me give you a quick background. There's four generic types of molds out there. Uh, plastic, non-reusable molds, reusable, urethane, silicone, uh, rubber molds, reusable metal molds, and non-reusable, um, non-reusable, help me out, uh, carb uh, cardboard molds. Um, when the question was, what about reusing plastic molds? When I grew up in the industry, uh, a lot of folks were taking molds like this and uh, this is uh, the new mold that we got from Forney. Uh, not one of my favorite molds. They changed up the plastic or something about the plastic, but we used the, this mold, this singular mold, as a, a reusable. We didn't end up reusing it. Um, we don't like throwing things away, but this is not going to be meant for a job site. Uh, but we had to get the sample out without getting any marks on the side. So what we did is we drilled a hole. Uh, on the uh, on the bottom side of it, a uh, little bit less than a quarter of an inch in diameter, put a piece of tape inside of it, and then after the 24 hour period, we used, uh, I think it was like five to 10 PSI, maybe a little bit more, to blow that cylinder out uh, without ripping and stripping. As compared to this mold, and I believe this is a, a Paragon mold, and this is the plastic that we just absolutely love. I, I, I love these molds, and I'm, um, when you use these, you can tell you're using your, your stripper and your mallet to rip and strip this open. It only takes, boom, 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 maybe, what, five hits, four hits to get through it. If you're using a T-bar, you push it through. But there are a tendency for folks to use both of these non-reusables as a reusable mold. And that's just by, you know, popping a hole in the bottom, putting some releasing agent, and then cleaning it out. Um, you're not supposed to do that. Um, you know, these molds aren't designed to be used often and eventually they will deform. So that I don't like, I don't recommend. Um, and again, when we reuse this one, we popped out the cylinder, we had not intended to reuse this one for any major project. Uh, now, the second type of plastic mold that you can use, I really wouldn't call it plastic. I mean, I, I believe they're all urethane, um, silicone for the... Uh, for the cylinders, when it comes to uh, the flex beams, like the, the, the C78s or even the G109, we've used some acrylics uh, and acrylic-like materials to create you know, molds out of that, but I think that's a different subject altogether. And we've already done a video on those G109 acrylic molds. Uh, but the, the, the urethane and silicone molds or those rubber-like molds, I, I don't like them. I, I cannot stand them, and those are the, the real reusable plastic molds. The, the reusable metal molds, they're just too much of a pain, but we have the 6x12s, and I, I don't think we've used those for 10 years. But when it comes to those hardened plastic or the urethane molds, uh, very cumbersome to clean, especially for, especially for a, a 4 by 8 inch cylinder. Uh, the, put, you put a lot of time into cleaning them, and is I remember it's either equipment or solvents, and it just was, it seemed more, we're putting an equal amount of harmful things out there, either the energy, the time, or the resources, especially with those solvents that we were using. Remember, we used to use a lot of WD-40 to clean these molds. So um, I, I know this is a waste, and I, I'm excited to work with Haley on recycling plastics into concrete, which is again, one of our awesome sustainability uh, efforts that we're going after. But until somebody proves differently, um, I think the plastic renewable, reusable molds are absolute crap. And again, I'm willing, hey, 
If you can prove otherwise and you've got something that's amazing, dude, I'm totally willing to look at it. But I have used a handful of, of these reusable plastic molds, even the flex beams, and I flip and hate them. We have metal flex beams. I won't get the plastic ones. I cannot stand them. They get nicked up. They get, you know, extra concrete in the nicks. And then you end up trying to clean them. You got to scrub them. And then you end up, you know, creating an abrasive environment. You abraded the, the, the surface. Yeah, not a fan. So hopefully you learned something today. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete!